Welcome back to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma. Today I'm joined by my friends, Blaine and Sarah. We have a very exciting topic today that I'm interested in getting in more depth about. So we're going to have some clips roll uh, from some adults around Davis. All right, so do you think we should split California up into two or three states? Are you asking if it's two or three or just uh, split it, period? Just split it, period. No. No, why not? Because I think that there would be a state that couldn't make it economically. You know, and I think uh, we're doing okay the way we are. I know. Why not? I'm not sure that if that would be, you know, the best for Californians to be split at this time. No. Why not? Mm, I, think the, I think the state has more to offer as a whole. There are different areas where different things are happening, but I think the synergy of all the different parts and different populations working together is a good reason to stay as one. And then also think about like the way that California would lose power for the United States. I mean, right now, like if you think about um, the, the laws that the, the that they've put economy. for the mm -hmm. the things that they've put in place for cars have have affected the whole United States, and so having a market share that big has imparted us with a lot of power to yeah to sort of I mean the saying as California as California goes so goes the country that wouldn't hold anymore and currently uh, California is the fifth biggest economy in the world and and you would lose all of that it's the fifth biggest economy I, I think it has a larger I think California has a larger economy than the United Kingdom or about the same I think that's primarily because of agriculture Hollywood, Hollywood high-tech obviously yeah, is Silicon huge. Valley. that's really interesting um, I like that the last people had a lot to say about uh, all the different economy and stuff like that. What do you think? Do you guys agree <laughs> that what she had to say about the economy? I'll take this one. <laughs> I don't know if I agree. I think that, or not so much that I disagree, I think that she's right on target when she says that California's got a super big economy, and that's correct, but I don't think that that's something that would go away if the state were split into three. It would be these three states combined have a really large economy because the contributions made by the people inside the state wouldn't change. The things that make the economy so good would not go away. So the economy would still be very good. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't break up into like, like it would still function as three different states. I don't know if it would function well, Yeah. but it would yeah. still function. Yeah, I think yeah. I, that none of the speakers brought up the idea of like voter representation, which I think is a big issue currently. If it's, but with the economy thing is that if it's true that, like the lady on the left said, that the California is so good because the people inside of California like geographically work so well together, that's, those relationships are not going to go away just because there's new borders drawn. If, that, if the working together and the teamwork makes the economy work, that's still going to stay if they're three separate states. So. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean... At that point, why separate them, though, if it's working well together? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, there's something to say about, like, voter representation and stuff. Like, I know you were starting to talk about that. I mean, because I know there's a huge population in California, so maybe it would work. I don't know. I don't know a lot about <laughs> voter representation, <laughs> to be honest, but what I don't do you know think if you about can. It, Sarah? What do I think about it? I think the population of California is massive, and so the representatives that we do have um, making decisions for us in Washington, um, if they're not fairly representing our voices, I think that's something that we should consider, but I also don't know how much of an actual viable possibility it is to split up like that. Yeah, and it's in, it's in Washington too, but it's even in the state legislature too, because the like the biggest problem with the representation is that there's so many people in California and the population keeps growing and the way that districts are made for the state legislatures isn't the same as it's made for federal legislatures so the end result is that like 
one assemblyman or assemblywoman in California is responsible for a growing number of like representing a growing and growing number, like more than any other state. Like California has a really big problem with represent like lower state level representatives representing so many people. And because they're representing so many people, it's like nearly impossible to broker a deal if your constituents are split or you have like a significant portion that um, agree on something or disagree on something, they can't compromise on anything anymore. Yeah. I think something else that was brought up, I think at like a family event a few years ago, um, it was like around the 2016 election and it was just like, I'm not even going to go out and vote because I know how it'll be decided. Yeah. Um, it'll be decided even if I don't vote because California is blue. And I think that's something to be brought up based on um, active involvement in voting. Yeah, and the thing about splitting California up into three states, the, the one about the one that was going to be on the ballot, Proposition 9, called for splitting it up into three states, which is like a little weird because it had a Northern California, a California, and a Southern California. Most of what, or like almost all of what makes California blue comes from Southern California. Central California and the middle of California is, is a toss-up, and Northern California is pretty red. And if we were to split California into two or three separate states, it would kind of dispel that notion. It would let people know that their voice would count more than it does right now because it's like a winner-take-all thing where there are more people in the South than in the North, even though the people yeah. in the North vote for Republicans more than the people in the South do. I think it's definitely like California is just such a massive thing. I think it could work. I don't think it, it, we should <laughs> split it up, but I think it's like, I feel like it could work. I don't know. Like, yeah, it would never happen though, because it's not, it's not a legal maneuver. Like a state can't vote on splitting itself up. There's a Supreme Court case about it. So it would never happen. So we just, I guess we're just like hypothetically arguing the impacts of it. Like would it do more harm than good? I'd say it probably would. Or yeah. do more good. I do think, more good. I think yeah. do more good. Than I know. Harm. I, yeah. think, I think we should have a civil war. I'm starting to like this like three part no. California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's from interesting things in the United States. Yeah. I don't know. Where would the new capitals be? That's true. That's a good point. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like it's like an interesting thing to think about. But the United States, like when we were making our capital, we were like, where do we put it? And that was a big debate. But it wasn't like. I don't know. The nature of the question is not one where we should be like, we should not do this because where would we put the cap? Yeah. You know, like, like, we should do this because it's going to solve voter representation and partisan gridlock, you know? Not because we don't know where the capital is going to go. That's like, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. There are a lot of interesting things on the ballot. That's true. That's done. There are like, if you guys have ever been up to Northern California, I remember when I was going north to go to Canada over the summer, I saw so, so, so many signs that said the 51st state of Jefferson. And like, <laughs> they, like there's, there's apparently like strong political will to, to get some kind of sovereignty for Northern California, even if it's just a gag. But in order to, for it to be on the ballot, it had to get something like 100,000 yeah. signatures or yeah. something like that. So people, like, they're serious. People seriously want to consider it. Yeah, I think I think that's really interesting that people feel like the need to separate, like California. Like I mean, yeah. obviously not everyone, but yeah. like a lot of people. And I don't know, yeah. like, do you think it's like people who actually want to do it or people like it would be so funny if we split up <laughs> California into three states? Like imagine <laughs> that. Just for the laughs. Yeah, I think it's more humorous than a serious recommendation. I mean, it's on the ballot, but it's not everything on the ballot is. Always well, do you think a hundred thousand people sign? Or they're like, let's get this. Like, it's just a joke, though. But let's actually have a vote on it. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like I thought you were gonna say I would have signed. Yeah, I, yeah, I would. Like, if I would have voted, <laughs> <laughs> if I could vote, I'd vote for it. No, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was kind of. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like, we yeah. need this split into yeah. California. But I think a lot of people yeah. are like. Yeah. Yeah. Northern California and Southern California are just so starkly different. That yeah, I agree. There's like, I don't know, because it, it's kind of for me, it's the question of like, do we want to incentivize this behavior? Like, do we want to look at 
Because for the most part, I'm kind of in favor of it. I think that it would help a lot federally and also would deal, help with a lot of California's problems. But also for me, the, like the, the big question against it is like, do we want to incentivize this kind of behavior? Like, because California is obviously not the only state with a significant political divide. California is like 60-30 Republican Democrat or something like that. Same is true of Texas, which is another big state. Mm. And like, do we want to set a kind of precedent politically and legally that just because your state has a big like political divide that you can just split it up into a new state and deal with it that way? Like, I don't know if that's the best solution to the problem, even though I kind of do think it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Texas, I mean, I guess I could see that, I, breaking it up. I mean, it, California and Texas are pretty massive states. But, yeah. but like, why does size matter? Well, I mean, population. <laughs> or, or does right? it? <laughs> um, like, I, I don't know. Population matters. Well, I don't know how many people are in Texas right well, there, now. But there's, like, there's a comparable amount of people in New York. Yeah. And New York is geographically much smaller than California. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like the whole idea of Prop 9 being on the ballot was more driven po like economic or like based on like how it would affect our economy than like this like political divide coming into real life, right? Mm. I don't know because I don't categorize California as a whole as red and blue. I see it as yeah, blue period, and I would argue that the majority of Californians see it that way. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But I mean, that's that's kind of in part due to the winner take all system that we have, because like fifty one percent of of Californians will vote for a Democrat in most elections, and that's that's enough. Like under the way our federal system is structured, that's enough to get a Democrat elected. Um, but the divide in California, like. It's not 51 to 49, but it's close. And there's a lot of, like, it's solid, solid one color and solid the other color in half of California. But it just so happens that the states, or sorry, the counties in the south of California have a lot of people, like Los Angeles and San Jose yeah, and San Diego. Sure. A lot of people there, and they all vote Democrat. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting topic to think about. I mean, I don't think it'll ever happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was really fun. I enjoyed talking about it with you guys. Uh, next week, another real fun topic. We have affirmative action. So I'm excited about that. So stay tuned.